I'm gonna show you today how to tie the perfect Lindy rig for clear water walleyes. This is everything you need to tie the perfect Lindy rig. What you wanna do, you wanna start off with your line coming out of your reel and you wanna tie a barrel swivel directly to it. I got that already done. That barrel swivel is an 18, so you wanna go small. And the point of the barrel swivel is to prevent line twists, which you don't want your, you don't want your leech or minnow or crawler to be spinning all the time. So you put that barrel swivel in there and that prevents line twists and it gives a little more natural feel for the, for the lure. What I tie directly in the other end of that barrel swivel is I have fluorocarbon, eight pound test, and I give myself about 18 to 24 inches. And I like to use Seaguar, which is my favorite, but Vanish works too. Suffolk's makes good stuff. On the business end, I like to put a little bead, a little chartreuse bead, orange bead, whatever you want to use. Colors, it's up to you. The point of the bead is there's two ends to that point. One point is, gives a little bit of color, a little traction. The second reason is it makes that knot on your hook, which we're going to put on right now, it prevents that from getting nicked up on rocks and stuff like that. So your, your knot stays, your knot stays uh, a little more secure. And what I'm using here is I'm using a Gamagatsu live bait hook. And I like the, the painted ones here. I don't know if you can see that, but I got chartreuse. A little bit more color. But the key here is, is you're going small, subtle, clear water. Fish can see all your, all your discrepancies. And you don't want that to happen. So you're going really super light stuff. Tie that hook on there. Give it a bunch of twists. They say seven, but I prefer 15 to 20. Got to make it extra secure. And then with the fluorocarbon, what you want to do is you always remember you want to moisten that knot because fluorocarbon sticks a little bit when you're tying. So moisten her up, give her a little loving, tighten her up. Don't let your dentist see you do that because they're going to tell you don't be biting fish line. So you got the, you got the business end here, your hook, your bead, which we'll get down there eventually, that protects that. That's perfect right there. Look at that. That looks good. You put a little live bait leech on there, a little minnow. That's awesome. Now, here's the important part, and probably the biggest problem that I see a lot of people do is they put too big of a weight on there for the linear rig. If you're fishing 20 foot of water, 8 ounce. If you're fishing 15 foot of water, 16 ounce. Anything shallower than that, 132nd, 116th, all that stuff's good. So don't put big time weight on there. What that does is it's going to make your drag you want to pull a lindy rig or you want to drift with the lindy rig you do not want this weight here to be here and your lure to be here you want that light weight just to be just tapping along the bottom and that leech or crawl or minnow will be falling right behind about six to eight inches off the bottom so now they make a whole bunch of different split shot you can get the old-fashioned lead or you can get <clears throat> some colored ones like i got a couple or uh, green chartreuse orange whatever you can put color on there it doesn't matter um, we're just going to go with the old fashioned one here. And I like to put that probably again, two feet above my line. Don't put it close to your barrel swivel. Why? Cause that's going to hit that knot going in your barrel swivel. You're going to have issues. You're going to get that big fish on. And you're going to lose it. You're going to dump it. You don't want to do that. And that's it. Hook, line, sinker. Thanks for watching and good luck.